you're going to like this one, volume, volume problems. So the law of combining volumes. Volumes of gases under similar conditions combine in small whole number ratios. And the ratio is the same as the mole ratio in the balanced chemical equation. Here we have a balanced chemical equation. 1H2 reacts with 1Cl2 to make 2HCl. Or 1 mole of hydrogen gas reacts with 1 mole of chlorine gas to make 2 moles of hydrogen chloride gas. That means that if I have 10 milliliters of this, it will react with 10 milliliters of that and form 20 milliliters of, of the product. Or if I had 1 liter of that and 1 liter of this, it would form how many liters? 2 liters. With gases where the conditions are the same, you can stick any volume unit between the coefficient and the formula. And so these guys, we can do these calculations in one step. Any questions about this? Oh, more pictures. So here we've got um, two moles of hydrogen, one mole of oxygen, forming two moles of water in the gas state. The ratio of combining volumes, 100 milliliters to 50 milliliters, what's 100 to 50 simplified? Two to one. And 100 to 100 equal ratio, right? Two to two or one to one. So the, the ratio of volumes is right here in the balanced chemical equation. If I wanted to find out how many liter, milliliters of oxygen would react with 100 milliliters of hydrogen gas, and I wasn't you know, feeling very focused and clear, and I couldn't just look at that and see it, I could go, well, there's one milliliter of oxygen for every two milliliters of hydrogen. And these units would cancel out, and I would get 50. Which is exactly what this is telling us. So let's do some real problems. Oh, I guess we have to have this slide that is uh, the same pattern as the other slide. So here, the path is really simple. It's liters to liters, or milliliters to milliliters. Isn't that a nice little path? It's not really a path. It's more like a, just a big step. You only need one unit factor, the volume ratio. The volume ratio is the same as the mole ratio. Now we've got a problem. Calculate the liters of oxygen gas that react with 49.7 liters of sulfur dioxide gas under the same conditions. This only works if the conditions are the same. But the nice thing is, in Chem 101P, we can limit ourselves to problems where the conditions are the same. So I'm still going to use this balanced chemical equation to organize my information. 49.7 liters of sulfur dioxide. Well, that's this guy. Um, what's wrong with that, too? It's too big. It's supposed to be a subscript. That's better. Wouldn't it be nice if you do that in real life? 49.7 liters of that. And we're asking for liters of oxygen. Now, you could do this as liters to moles to moles to liters. And if you forget, you could think it through that way and you'd be fine. But we don't have to do that. We can go liters of SO2 directly to liters of O2. We've got 
liters of SO2 times liters of O2 divided by liters of SO2. This is a volume ratio of gases. It's the same as the mole ratio. 2 SO2 to 1 O2. So 1 liter of oxygen to 2 liters of SO2. So we get 49.7 divided by 2. 49.7 has 2 sig figs, so I'm going to round the answer off. Not 2, 3. 3 sig figs. And so this is 24.9 liters of oxygen gas. Let me just show you what it would look like if you did moles to moles in the middle. So there's all the units for liters to moles to moles to liters. The one in the, in the middle is the mole ratio, which is exactly the same as the volume ratio. If this is at STP, then it's 22.4 liters per mole. And similar conditions, this is 22.4 liters per mole. Those guys, the numbers cancel out. So we don't really need them at all. But you can do it that way if that's all you remember at the time. Any questions? Let's do this one. Calculate the volumes of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas that react to yield 50 milliliters of chlorine gas given the following unbalanced equation. Assume that all the gases are at the same temperature and pressure. Well, we've got to balance this again. Let's see. Um, hydrogen. One hydrogen, two hydrogens. I'll put a two here. Uh, chlorine's next. Two chlorines, two chlorines. Good. Two oxygens, one oxygen. Not cool. Well, we can fix the oxygen, but what does that do to the hydrogen? Messes it up. So we fixed the oxygen, two oxygens, two oxygens, but we messed up the hydrogen, so we have to go back and fix it. So we don't need a two here, we need a four. And that changes the chlorines, so we have to go over here and fix the chlorines. But at least it stops there, so we went around the circle once. 50 milliliters of chlorine gas. So 50 milliliters of this. And there's actually two problems here, A and B. Calculate the volumes of hydrogen chloride gas. Well, this is hydrogen chloride. So I'm going to put A. Does it tell us what unit we have to use? No. What would be easy? Milliliters, right? If this one's in milliliters, it'd be easy to do this one in milliliters. So we're doing question mark milliliters for that one. And B is asking for volume of oxygen gas. So that's this one here. And again, let's just do milliliters because that would be easy. So the first one, what's our path? Yeah, milliliters to milliliters. Milliliters of chlorine to milliliters of what's asked for, HCl. So I'm given 50 milliliters of chlorine gas. Oops, forgot to write what it was. And I want milliliters of HCl here and milliliters of Cl2 down there. And then I figured out that I needed a 4 in front of the HCl, so there's a 4 here. 
and Cl2 has a 2 in front of it. Now, you could simplify that ratio if you want to, but you don't have to because your calculator will take care of it for you. I'm just going to take 50 times 4 divided by 2, 100. So 100 milliliters of HCl. And then for B, um, I'm going to do this one without writing the path. I hope that's okay with you guys. 50 milliliters of Cl2. What do I want on the numerator? Milliliters of O2. And then I need this in the bottom, milliliters of Cl2. Units cancel out. Then I look for numbers. I've got an implied 1 for the oxygen and a 2 for the chlorine. So 50 times 1 divided by 2 should be 25 milliliters of O2. Any questions? That was like a twofer, wasn't it?